Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to relocate a sink drain from point A to B without having to move the drain pipe that is coming out of the floor or vent that is coming from the attic. We will also talk about the sink arm height, a few common codes and mistakes. So, let's get started. To relocate the drain, we will be moving the drain pipe inside the wall studs to reach from point A to B. We will be making three holes. But before we make any holes, we need to confirm that our wall is not carrying any load. If you are not sure, you should talk to the engineer before making any holes. Since our wall is not load bearing, I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes. Once the holes are drilled, we are going to run our pipe in the wall studs and change the direction of the T to connect our pipe to the existing drain. You can either use a new T or use a ram bit to reuse an existing T. Once the pipe is connected to the T, use a long band 90 or 245s to stub out the drain out of the wall. Now let's talk about a few common codes you should take into consideration. The pipe we ran inside the wall studs is called a trap arm. A trap arm is the portion of a fixture drain between the trap weir and the vent pipe fitting. The maximum length of a trap arm pipe cannot exceed 6 feet for an inch and a half pipe. So in our case, length of this pipe cannot be more than 6 feet. If a trap arm pipe is too long, or slope is greater than its inner diameter, water is siphoned from trap seal due to negative pressure, which allows the sewer gases to enter the house. Using a Y fitting instead of a T will have the same negative effect. Another thing to consider is that you cannot change the direction of a trap arm more than 135 degrees. Let's talk about rough in dimensions now. Standard height for the sink arm drain is between 17 to 20 inches. However, you should always check your cabinet specifications to allow enough space below the P-trap U-band. Because using 245s will form a S-trap that will suck water out from the trap, which will end up releasing sewer gases into the house. To wrap up, install protection plates so that you don't damage the pipe while installing drywall or cabinets. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.